Even as international diplomats scramble for a resolution to the violence in Gaza, Israel's attacking deeper inside Lebanese territory. On February 26, Israeli strikes hit Hezbollah air defenses in the Bekaa Valley, some 60 miles from the border. This renewed Israeli effort comes after Hezbollah strikes in northern Israel, including a February 14th rocket attack from Lebanon that killed an Israeli soldier and wounded eight civilians. Around 284 Lebanese citizens, most of them Hezbollah fighters, have been killed in the tit-for-tat strike since October 7th, and there are now an average of five or six strikes per day. Hezbollah says it's refusing to negotiate until the war in Gaza ends. And with 80,000 residents of northern Israel forced to evacuate and refusing to return unless Hezbollah is pushed further from the border, Nicholas Blanford of the Atlantic Council's Middle East programs writes that if hostilities persist for much longer, pressure on the Israeli government to launch some form of offensive into South Lebanon is going to be hard to resist, even if it has little chance of achieving long-term success. And that's smart in 60 seconds.